after he was uh, after the, Abdul Muttalib went in for medical treatment, uh, other agencies obviously were brought in and consulted uh, and have been involved okay, consulted in this process. Or they, so they were. So the CIA was in there interrogating or consulted on the interrogation. Uh, the, the FBI interrogated the subject, uh, disseminated intelligence throughout the community, uh, and throughout this process, uh, other agencies in our government and intelligence agencies uh, have helped FBI interrogators through these interrogations. Right. Uh, but Robert, understand you, this. No, no, but, but understand this, Chuck. Uh, if if this notion of whether he should be an enemy combatant or whether he should be tried uh, in a civilian court, if that's the crux of the argument, based on what you said is their number one argument, which I'm not necessarily sure that's what they've articulated. But if that's their number one argument. It, the Defense Department, the intelligence community, and the FBI all came to an agreement that the way he was being interrogated and what has now led to his cooperation was the path that we should go down. Robert, what we have that, here, let's, let's but hold on for a second. For a second. Hold on. Wait. But, but hold on for a second. Uh, we have listened to politicians in Congress describe how they think is best to interrogate somebody who tried to blow up an airplane that landed in Detroit. I think what's better, and I think what would make the American people feel safer is if the people that are trained to interrogate law enforcement professionals, people with decades yes. of counterterrorism experience, are the ones who are doing this, not to, politicians and the, in Washington. Fine, fair enough, fair enough, Robert, but to that end, did you lose an opportunity to interrogate by Mirandizing too soon? This was not a Absol product of reflection not. that went all the way to the top. How can absolutely you say that? Not. How can because you say that you have lost no valuable intelligence when a period elapses between the day or so after the bombing and five weeks before he renews his cooperation. But, no, no, Savannah, he, he didn't He didn't just stop talking because uh, he got Miranda. He stopped talking because he was trained to stop talking. That's just true. because you put That's... somebody. No, no, but let's be. Let's not simplify this. Just because you make somebody an enemy combatant doesn't make them talk. Uh, no, take the case of. Wait a minute, Robert. Let me. No, 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 no. Take the case of. I want to make the viewers familiar with the procedure. Take the case of. Mirandize somebody. Take, the yeah. investigators cannot go again to him and try to get him to dock. They cannot persuade him, cajole him, convince him. If he's well, just they, an enemy combatant, they do have the opportunity to go back yeah, immediately yeah, it, and try it, to get him to talk. Savannah, you're greatly oversimplifying the process. If somebody isn't going to talk, it doesn't matter if they've been read their Miranda rights or not. Let me use the case of Jose Padilla. This is the case that Newt Gingrich famously mixed up just a few nights ago. First, he said Richard Reed was Mirandized because he was a American citizen, we know, we've known for more than eight years that Richard Reed is a British citizen. He said he meant Jose Padilla. Jose Padilla was made an enemy combatant so that we could get him to talk. And guess what happened when we made him an enemy combatant? He didn't talk. He did talk when he was transferred back into a civilian court. What, what has been done was this procedure was followed. The FBI protocols and procedures were followed. Uh, Agencies were consulted about how to get information and intelligence from this individual, and that's what's happened. But what you've seen is a series of politicians. You've seen a series of No, no. The, the protocol that was established in, at the end of the last administration about how to deal with suspects in the FBI, which again was agreed upon by all these agencies, was the protocol that was followed. This wasn't some sort of surprise. But again, what we have here are politicians who've decided. Eight years after they agreed that everything that was done right on Richard Reed somehow is now all done wrong because it's a different president. That's well, not law enforcement. That's then. politics, guys. Well, then, but then I'm confused by this. Both the president, Robert Mueller, in testimony, uh, John Brennan on Meet the Press, all seem to hint. Well, the next time, maybe we won't Mirandize so soon. All of them well, have hinted over the last 72 hours, and, and so is that not a tacit acknowledgement that no, you know no, maybe Chuck, what, you should, Chuck, uh, maybe you guys are changing your procedure on this? Chuck, what what the president asked everyone to do January 5th in the Situation Room was evaluate everything that happened in this process. We're we're not stubborn enough to think that everything we do on every occasion is right. Okay, the military conducts after action reports uh, after a military military uh, exercise or a military procedure. That's the same thing that is happening here and now. And understand this, Chuck, the next time something happens, it's probably not going to be exactly as it happened this time. Just like
like what happened in Detroit wasn't exactly what it happened. But you don't feel as if you Richard Reed or in New York. But it does sound like the government is concerned now, looking back, that you Mirandized too soon. That's that's not true. Robert, let's move on to this issue of civilian.